Welcome back to the channel. It is general election day today, which means preschool is closed. So, where are we going today? Toy shop and parcel shop. Toy shopping. Jerry and shops. Sit a bit. Parcel shop. First one today. Ladies first. Ladies first. Hiya. Morning. Hello. How are you? You alright? Daddy. Okay. Good for you, mate. They are for your hair. They're for mummies to use. <coughs> that one has to be a Christmas keeper, surely. We're going to a few we're going to a few different ones today. Next one. Annie's. It'll be twin for twenty, it's not bad is it? Marlboro Classics car guys, look at them. Funky, aren't they? <laughs> Some floor finds. They look old. They look old, they do. These are on the floor. I've just put them back up there for you, but I can't see a hanger. So, um, they're probably. Yeah, I saw, thank you. Oh, vintage cheap fashion dolls. Oh my goodness, a bag that's a giraffe as well. No, it's a bull. Is it a bull? What are you going to do with it? I've done really well on badges before. Let me see her bum. I promise I'll make her brand new again. She's absolutely livid because her toy has got black stuff on it from this car. But all of that. Fifteen pound thirty. Got some good bits in there, boy. Come on then. Off you get. Out you get. Next one, and he's about a makeover. Hello. You got your window fixed. Did you get that one? I'll pop that one. Nine quid altogether. Eight and two is ten. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Right. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate it. We'll see you again. It's not bad, is it? Somebody needs a wee, so it's a quick stop in Asda. And then we've got St. Michael's and Bernardo's. The only thing is, I've only bought £400 with me, so I don't even know if I can afford anything from Bernardo's. First stop, I think we'll hit St. Michael's because we can afford stuff in there, I think. Because they did, they had hard faces when they first came out. People tell me off for leaving the Teletubbies, but I can't be asked to keep buying them until I've got a full set. Sky Daddy, I've got a Sky. If a full set's there, I'll grab it. Sky! It makes a change, you don't want anything, doesn't it? I think it's a watch clock, darling. So it's supposed to have another piece just there, otherwise we'd have got that. Never mind. Top of it, there it is. <laughs> Underneath there. Oh, is it on your arm as well? No, no. Just got I'm gonna take these coat hangers off for you. So clothing half price, £22 down to £12-ish. It's not bad, is it, eh? Daddy spends a lot of money on some rifles. Thank you. <laughs> that is what we call a nice little result. <laughs> That's what we call a nice result. That shop is always taxing, but today it was half price. So if it came to like 22 50 we should have been 50 quid. No, 45, I don't know, whatever it is. 
and then that had ten pound loyalty, so that knocked off a load as well. So we're gonna go check out this one as well now. But I've got seven grand in the pocket. I should be able to get a pair of shoes. Yeah, you're gonna be warm in here. Whoa. Don't know how those tax, don't they? Tax, tax, tax. Five mark, three quid. Weirdly, they've got religion stuff for like three quid. That's not bad. Does anybody even wear religion anymore? I'm gonna leave it, but one-handed, I've still got it, baby. What are they? Lulu lemons, three quid. I just caught you slipping. I think I have. Daddy, I got something to show you. Okay, what is it? Oh, ah! I'm sure you can appreciate it. I've got to concentrate right now. Oh. Mm, this is a squishy. Hello. <laughs> Selvage, Japanese logo Edwins, and Luli Lemons for six quid. <laughs> Come on, then, last one before we go home. Great. Come on. St. Michael's, last one before we go home. Let's have a look and see what's in the window of doom today, shall we? Doom. Window of doom. Wow, it's actually a hedge, you silly sausage. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's another one. Doom. Oh, window of doom. Flush. <laughs> oh, look. That's a doggy. Hmm? Lots of angry pigs, angry birds. What are they called? Angry birds. Any JCs in there? Daddy, this dog is sleeping. Yeah, it's, 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 it's relaxing. It's relaxing. Check out the garms first, of course. Whee. Let's have a look. I think that's a pickup for 350. It's not an older one, but polar skate. Oh, I hate when they do that. That might make me put it back actually. That's a bit too deep, isn't it? Mm, sake. Oh, there's another one as well. So I'll just do it. So I'll just do it. It is, in fact, the next day. Because yesterday was a day where I have Ada most of the day. I couldn't really get this stuff done. Once I get home, that's it. I can't really be in here on my own doing the video while she's in there on her own. She's four. So we're gonna pick some sales and then we'll move into what we picked up. Got some quality stuff for low, low prices. My goodness me. My goodness me. First up on Vinted, we sold the Chelsea shorts that we picked up for three pounds 50 from the charity shop the other day. Six pound. For four pound, for four pound, we've sold the Amigos beer cap. Starting to make some money back on that 55 pound investment now. I've done 15 pound no fees, four pound no fees, and I've got another one coming up here. So we're making some money back on that one. And a big shout out to my man, Mark. He has picked up for six pounds 50, this Planet Hollywood cap. It's a vintage one, it's an older one. Really, really good deal, 650. Moving them on, getting the money back. I've still got loads of hats to go through. So we're gonna start hitting Profitville very, very shortly. Choo choo. Moving over to eBay now. For £9 free postage, we have this vintage spirit level. When you need some spiritual guidance in your life, this is what you need. Owes me pennies. For £12 now, my main man Steve has picked up this from the eBay store. It's the 2005 Toy Biz Spider-Man. Quite a rare one, to be fair. It's worth more than £12, believe it or not, for that little thing. But I've done him a deal. Steve has just shared with me his eBay account, which is... I've had a quick little look at it, and he has got some cool stuff on there. He's got, like, vintage clothing, loads of, like, nice, smart stuff. It's Most of it's on auction as well, so there's an opportunity there. I went through his solds. There's an opportunity there to snag some bargains. So if you like vintage clothing and cool stuff, big graphics, all that kind of stuff, go check out his eBay store. I have been. I'm watching a few items, mate. Don't you worry. Steve, thanks again, mate. 12 quid. Owes me 
one uh, actually i used to be pennies because i brought in a massive bundle of stuff from a charity shop you know them like lucky bags full of mixed mixed stuff mixed toys yeah one of them deals the 16 pounds 48 all in were these dvdrs i think i paid one pound 50 a box or something so like three five quid all in something like that from somebody who watches the channel massively appreciate this mate he says he's an avid watcher for the last few months he looks forward to watching my progress and my ventures with what i do so i massively appreciate that mate hopefully we can keep moving forward and keep going on up he said he knows how exciting it is to get a sale even if it's just a little one like a ching -ch so he wanted to give me that buzz for the evening and mate you definitely did really appreciate the business these will be coming out to you shortly Paid £8, sold for £18.94 is the Juicy Couture all-in-one play suit. This sat around forever. I really thought it was going to be snapped up and for a lot more, but it wasn't, so I reduced and accepted offers. For £80.49 all-in now is the infamous Lynx set, the Lynx Pulse that I picked up from the car boot sale for around about £2. I listed it for ridiculous money just to get eyes on it and just in case, because there was none of us listed, I listed it for £300, knowing full well it was probably not going to get anywhere near that, but I liked to get eyes on it first for like a week when something's so rare i go really high and hope that somebody sends me an offer way above what i probably would have accepted in the end i got an offer for 55 i counted off it at 75 and they accepted and it went all in for like whatever it was 80 pounds and 49 pence just a really really nice sale he's made crazy requests so like don't use every please use raw mail please make sure you get the eight double oh nine whatever it is sticker on it i've got living flats things going missing i'm like oh well, this will be an exciting one to see what happens. Maybe it'll go maybe it'll go smoothly, but I think we're gonna be back for another video on this one. And for £68.99 was this Dragon's Egg Mega Box thing that I picked up from the car boot sale for four pounds. I think I said in my video it was five, it wasn't, it was four. £68.99. I had this listed for 99 99 because it was the only one. Somebody who obviously collects them and was really, really, really wanting this item messaged me saying hundred pounds is just too much for him, not for the market. He meant for the market, but he also, it was for him. £100 is too much. It's not. It's the only one listed and sold to around about this. Sent me an offer of 55 I said, I can't do it, mate. I sent him an offer of 75 He counted back at 60 I counted back at 65 with postage, and he accepted. So this is on its way to you, my man. I'm going to double box this up for you, like I mentioned. Really, really appreciate the sale. And hopefully, you get to add it to your collection. Apparently, these are really collectible. And that's all the sales on eBay. So we're going to move into the pickups today. Hopefully, maybe I might even do a separate video. It depends how I feel. You'll see how this video closes off because I don't want it to be too long. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to start editing the video in a minute and then I'll see how long the video is. If it's not, if it's not that long, I'll do the haul on the end. Some really good bits. Some stuff that you can look out for as well, yourselves. I stuck some bubble wrap outside the other day to keep it out of the way of the garage. And... It's fucking rained, doesn't it? It's rained. Let's try and get this in without bringing all this water in. I'm sure it can be done. Just gotta rip it in and drag it in. Not actually that bad to be fair. Damp, but not soggy. So when it comes to boxing the dragon egg, I am gonna double box it because he is a collector and he wants it to remain intact. Plenty of bubbles. See, that would not be good enough, in my opinion, because there's too much there in there. So it has to go into a second box. If I want this to remain, it's in, you know, keep its integrity. You know, it might seem mental, but it's really not. These guys are collectors. And if I get something like this in the future, I want him to know that he can come back, you know? protected and protected and the box isn't huge just going that little extra bit of the mile is all we need huh? you did let me see bring it over here oh you can't go over can you Which one's me? I say, I say, I say, it's some, um, um, <laughs> this is you, that's, um, Mummy, this is me, and that's Bobby, and that's a butterfly, that's a stone, and Mummy, oh. That's me, is it, that one? No, Mummy, that's you, 
That's me. I've got the biggest it. arms and the biggest ears. Let me hold it a minute. And this is. That's your name. Where can I put it? Can I keep it or do I put it somewhere? Keep. Thank you. I'm going to put it just here with the rest of them for now. Keep this bag. Thank you, darling. Hey, keep. Daddy's going to finish his work. Mwah. Love you so much. I love you. I want this. I love you. No, nothing, nothing out of here today for a minute. Cute. You know, sometimes when I wish like all the childish stuff would stop, like the annoyances that you have with kids. Yes, it's for the ants. Okay, I'm, I'm working. It's the ants toy. Just like that. I have to remember that one day that will stop, but also so will the pictures, you know. Right, that is the last parcel. I'm going to have a quick tidy up and put my foot. Yes, okay, that's okay, baby. They got fur. That's the last parcel. I'm going to have a quick tidy up. Chuck the footage into my editing software and see if it's too long or not. Hopefully it's not. And then I'll come back and show you what's in these bags. Because I'm dying to go through these bags. I want to go through them now. Back in a sec. I've just loaded all of the footage into the software and it's like 38 minutes long. After editing, it's going to be probably 15, 20. So do you know what? I'm going to stick the haul on the back end of this. Hopefully you enjoy this bit. If not, feel free to click away now. Go and check out something over here or here, whichever side it is. I don't really know until I get to the edit, but it's going to be somewhere. If you want to stick around and see what I've picked up, see if you can learn about some new items of clothing, stay around. There's not just clothing. Stay around. There's a few different bits and pieces in there as well. Stay around and enjoy. We'll start off with this bag. It was £15.80 for it all. I went in there, it was like half price for clothing, not shoes, but clothing. And it was already cheap enough as it is, so I've done really freaking well out of there. These are either going to be really good or just bang average. So £3 for some very worn, vintage. Oh, as does here. As the home delivery, I'll close that. Emma will deal with that. So these are Levi 505s made in Colombia. They're in great condition. Very, like, worn in. When I say great, I mean, like, they've got signs of wear, but I like that. Look at that like fade in the knees and stuff. Love that, love that, love that. Three pounds, so one pounds fifty. Thought I'd jump in here to try and show some of you guys the easiest way to date Levi's jeans. On this particular pair, there is a four digit number group just here. And this indicates the week of the cut and the year. On this particular occasion here, it's gonna be the third week and it's going to be 98, meaning 1998, that is the year. Hope this helps some of you guys, and there is different variations, so bear that in mind. Four pound for these Nike shoes. They are a bit worn, but nothing like damaged on them at all. Like, what I mean by worn is like bobbling because they're like a cotton top. They're called Nike Prestos. Four pound. A shirt for myself now. This was two pound. Originally four pound, so two pound. The ultimate choice. I don't know who made it. Well, I do. Cardinal. I've never heard of it before, but I just like it for myself. It's a nice classic shirt for myself. Snap buttons with really nice detail on them. Like someone spent a lot of time making that, but that's for myself. These, which I've only just noticed, they are Ralph Lauren Polo Chinos. Really decent ones, little logo here, hit on the back, but I've just noticed that the cuffs are a little bit worn. It shouldn't make massive difference, but it makes enough of a difference to me and they have to go on Vinted now, not eBay. I could have got good money on eBay. Marlboro Classics now, these sell well, they always sell well, and I've never seen a pair of Marlboro Classics Chinos, uh, combat trousers, just a, just a great pair. One pounds fifty. One pound fifty. Easy eighteen twenty quid back on those easily. Picked up a few pairs of jodhpurs now. Two pound each. They've actually wrote down four pound to two pound. So when I'm saying two pound, it's how much they were. These are requisites. Just a nice pair of like jodhpurs. Fifteen quid a pair back on them, and another pair of jodhpurs that I've never heard of the brand before. They just look quite cool. GS Performance. These were one pounds. 80. Again, I'm hoping another 15 to 20 on them, but I don't really know about the job to be honest. And that was £15.80 for it all. Bargain. Next shop, £2.50 for some mint velvet trousers. Mint velvet is a good little brand for £2.50. I'm never going to struggle to get at least a tenner back on those. Maybe £8 on Vinted. I'll see how much they're going for on eBay first. I've just noticed there's a fucking zip issue. Look, both the pockets, the little zip tabs are missing. So they're probably going to be Vinted for a fibre just to double up. We've got a Sony stereo system with some Ariston speakers, so two Ariston speakers and a Sony system with the remote. You probably saw it in the in the video. So it's DAB radio plus CD, I think. 
yep, and CD, and it comes with the remote. For editing purposes, this is the HCD BX 70 DBI. My estimation is gonna be 20 quid on the speakers and maybe 30, 40 on the system, because it does come with the remote control as well. I paid five pound for that. Next shop, three pounds 50 each for these polar skate tops. They're long sleeves, medium. This one's got like a nice bit of graphic going down the arm and a little hit on here. As I mentioned, the way they put the tags on, they've tagged them through the back and they've put little fucking holes in them. I was gonna leave them, but when I saw two, I thought I'll just get two and bundle them up. So they owe me seven pounds 50 for the pair. If I'll do a bundle quickly with the holes in it for like 20 quid, they'll sell fast. This one's got a really nice graphic on the back, but the same little punch hole in the back from where they've put the tags in because they're massive twats, basically. £4.25 for a pair of Brasher walking trousers. Nice condition. 15 to 20 back on those. If they're my size, I will be keeping those for a little while. When I say keeping them, I normally keep them for a bit and then I will sell them eventually. Uh, different shop, but same company. £1.25 each for these Sony DVD CD things. £1 for a stack of three Sony VHS. Hopefully about 15, 20 quid on everything that's there. And now we're moving into some crazy stuff. I don't know about prices on these. I haven't checked them up yet. £2 for a little Fox Jelly Cat. Hopefully it's worth more than two pound and i've sold this donkey before for i think about 18 pound but the smaller version this was three pounds 50 both jelly cat so even though it's clothing it doesn't have to be boring does it because i can do it fast enough where you get the information but you don't get drowned out being bored so this this haul here was quite a nice one because it was half price on clothing plus i ended up having 10 pound loyalty credit to spend so this whole thing cost me like 15 quid i'm sure of it so three pounds 50 on the tag i think this is a planet ibifa t-shirt from the year 2000 it's got 2000 in here so that's that's obviously where my clues come from so 350 on the tag so one pound 75 i think that was just a nice graphic t-shirt and hopefully i'll check into it and there's some problems i'm hoping it's from a club i'm hoping it's from a club so i'll come out more money musto t-shirt big size as well really nice one seven pounds so three pounds fifty i would never have paid seven pound for this ever because it was half price i went for it plus obviously there was my £10 off as well. This was £10. If you want to think about it, this, this was free, if you want to make it simpler. So £10 for this rugby top. Lovely Vodafone sponsor, which is starting to peel off just there. Just didn't even notice. Size XL, even in that condition. 15 20 I hope. No clue about the value of this one yet. The Chelsea top, it's got the Premier patches on the arms. I don't know about value, haven't looked into it. This was eight pounds, so four quid, and it's from the 2013 season. Nothing on the back, four pound. And this one's probably gonna be a decent one, but I haven't looked into it yet. So it's on that Sofi tag, the dry release, made in USA, army top. I'm hoping this was army issue, long sleeve, really, really nice condition. I'm just really hoping this has some kind of provenance. It's got like a tuck neck on the top. I don't know, haven't looked into that one yet, but that was 5.75, so 2.50, 2.60, something like that. Nice. And then, Bernardo's, which I was absolutely slagging off before went in there, saying I've got four grand in my pocket, I might be able to buy one thing. Men's Lululemons. three pound salvage Edwin's for three quid what the f what the chuff what the chuff? Chuff's a great word, isn't it? Three pound. I don't know about you, but that's a result. So all in all yesterday, I spent what? 15, 25, 45 quid, if that. 45 quid-ish, 50 quid. I get that back probably just on the Edwins. Maybe the Edwins and the Lululemons. Cracking, cracking, cracking result. Really, really, really smashed it yesterday for charity shops and having my daughter with me, who is not the easiest to take with. Not the hardest either. But yeah, some nice little bits. And we managed to stick it on the end of the video. Massively appreciate you watching. Before we go anywhere, we are going to shine some light on some more channels very quickly. Just a few at a time for you to go and check out. Something to change up your algorithm a little bit.
So the first channel that I'd like to put a mention onto is Maximus. Maximus has a reselling channel and he also does a few different variable pieces in and amongst his channel as well. He's been around for a very long time, very active during the lockdown period era. Then I think he just sort of got back into life and slowed down a little bit and tried a few other different things as well. But he's still putting out content and it's still always a great, great watch, great attitude, massive laugh and a proper geezer. So if you'd like to, go and check out Maximus. Cheers, bro. And of course, what friend would I be if I didn't mention Jack Dobbins? If you like your gaming stuff, your vintage, if you like long-haired Vikings with baby faces, Jack Dobbins is your man. He's putting out a lot of content recently and his channel's growing quite well, quite fast. Dobbins is a part of the friend group that we have amongst us. So even though he's a friend, I still think his channel's definitely worth a shout out. One point something K subscribers, he could do a hell of a lot more than that. Jack, I appreciate you, mate. I hope everybody goes and checks you out. It's got long, lovely hair. The man that I get compared to the most, apparently watching both of our channels are very, very similar. Although I think he's just a little bit better looking with his spectacles. Kaji, of course, I need to give this man a shout out. Go and check out his channel below. He is uploading daily as well. If you're here for my pretty much daily content, then you'll appreciate Kaji's as well. Full of energy, upbeat, got a potty mouth like me, and definitely worth a watch. Kaji, big up, keep doing what you're doing. I need to stop knocking this table because it's making a fucking camera shake. Keep doing what you're doing. People, please go and give Kaji a little check out. Now I'm going to pick a very, very, very new channel. A couple of ladies that have started their channel not too long ago. They go by the name That's Flipping Retro. They've popped up quite recently. They've had a bit of banter in the community. They've just started out and watching their videos reminds me of when I first started. And I can see that the way that they carry on, they're going to do very, very well. They pick up all sorts of things, loads of different items. The selections of stuff they buy are always eclectic. There is massive, massive variance and always something to enjoy watching. So that's Flipping Retro, 181 subscribers. Let's move that up. Lovely ladies and a lovely watch. Right, you can get back to the goodbyes and the outro now. Go on. So I'm going to start cracking on with this now and getting it listed because it ain't going to sell just sitting there, is it? So thank you ever so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. And I will see you on the next one. Take care. Love you. Bye. Clothing.